Jeanette J Beauty and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how I styled my hair in these box twists slash jumbo twists with my natural hair. Of course, I'm coming from wash day as I always do. I wanna start on a nice clean slate. Now I'm going to style my hair how I'm going to wear it. Before I used to just style my hair in equal quadrants and I find it more convenient for me because once I start styling, I could keep going without having to repart my hair. Now that I have my four sections, I'm gonna prep my hair first with water to help moisturize it. And I find that applying products just penetrate into my hair a lot easier because water is a moisturizer alone. It is lightweight, but nonetheless, it does help to moisturize my hair and help me to manage it a whole lot better. And I use the WLOS method to help keep my hair moisturized throughout the week until next wash day. And for my leave-in conditioner, I'll be using the Kinky Curly Natural Leave-In slash Detangler. I use this as a leave-in conditioner, not a detangler, and I'm just going to work this down the length of my hair. And to help seal that moisture in, I'm gonna use this Anne Honey Deep Moist Hair Oil, and I love it. It has natural botanicals and honey in it to help keep my hair nice and healthy, and it smells great. I'm working this also down the length of my hair and also my scalp to make sure that they stay nice and moisturized. to make sure that my hair is tangle free and that the leave-in conditioner and oil are distributed well throughout my hair, I am gonna use this wide tooth comb and just comb this section and this helps a lot with styling because I can easily part my hair and do whatever I need to do because my hair is nice and smooth. Now I am going to twist my hair so I can retain the moisture and all the goodness from the leave-in conditioner and the oil and repeat this process on the other three sections. And I also wanted to point out when I'm twisting my hair, I'm making sure to twirl my fingers around the ends so that they could stay nice and secure. This also helps when I'm doing my style so that the ends of my hair do not unravel. Now that my hair is nice and prepped, I'm gonna start parting for the twists. I still plan on making a video on how to part, but in the meantime, all I do is gather my hair up and I just make a part going straight across. The rat tail comb that I use helps tremendously with making clean parts. I've already done the first two twists and I'm gonna show you how I do the next three. I just wanted to give you a visual with how they should look. As I'm making my parts going across, these are gonna be the rows. So you can make it as thick or thin as you want. I like a medium sized section, so about two inches is good for me. Now I'm gonna make the columns going straight down. And since I like medium sized twists, I think three twists for this row is going to be perfect. Next, I'm going to smooth down my roots using this edge booster edge control. I really like this. I use this on my edges and also when I wanna smooth my hair down for a sleek look. And I'm going to apply this edge control control all over my roots and then brush it and I'm applying two rubber bands that have been coated in oil so I don't cause any unnecessary friction on the roots and I wrap the rubber band around three to four times I'm not making it tight because I don't want to pull at the roots if you wrap the rubber band around too tight, it can pull your scalp, cause your hair to rip out from the roots, and also it can cause some irritation and you can even get some bumps on your scalp. So I just please advise don't wrap the rubber band around too tight. Now that I have my sections, I'm going to apply this Texture ID Styling Cream and apply this down the length of each section of hair. I'm 
I'm making sure to apply the styling cream to the ends of my hair. Next, I am going to comb this section out before I actually twist it. I wanna make sure that the styling cream, the leave-in condition of the oil is worked in very well, equally distributed, and that my hair is indeed tangle-free. This is going to ensure that your twist look very juicy, and also if you decide to do a twist out, that is gonna have a more clean, defined look. And to twist my hair, I divided the section in half and then I'm gonna take the two individual subsections and wrap them around each other snugly with purpose. I'm always saying this because I think it makes more sense. Don't half step it and twist your hair all loose because the twist is not gonna have the same effect. It's not gonna look as neat and clean. So make sure that you do take your time with this step. In the middle of my hair, I make sure to braid down equally down the middle. And once I've done about three, four rotations, then I'm going to pull it to the side where it's more comfortable for me to twist my hair this way. And also, if need be, I will take my Rexo comb and comb my hair. I do this with each twist. I feel my hair, and if it feels like it's not 100% smooth, I will take that rat tail comb and smooth my hair down and continue twisting. I'll do this technique as often as need be, and I make sure to twirl my fingers around the ends of my hair so that they stay nice and secure. And here's how the back section looks all completed. Fast forward to the front and I have one more section to do. I'm just gonna show you how I do these box twists. Oh yeah, and I like to make sure that I have a good amount of cream in my hair. You can see that some just splattered up, but it's totally fine. I'm gonna keep going. And finally, I'm all finished twisting my hair and I love the way it looks. The twists are nice and juicy, moisturized, and my ends have that little curl at the end I love and they are staying secure. So for nighttime, I'm going to just put my satin scarf around to protect my hair and make sure that it does not dry out or frizz up. and I'm ready for bed. Hello again, it's been two days since I last filmed. I didn't come back the next day just because I had a full day with all my children, but nonetheless, my hair still looks great, moisturized, and the ends have stayed nice and secure. I just love doing twists. Like, twists have to be one of my go-to styles because my hair gets a nice break with them for sure. I sprayed a little leave-in conditioner. This one's from Alba Botanica because sometimes the ends of the twist can get a little bent and I just apply leave-in conditioner or water on the twist so that my hair can go down without a crimp.
Now I'm gonna style my edges. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but for this style, I just wanted to do it today. And I applied the same edge control that I use on my roots. And of course, knowing me, I wanted to add a little jazz, so I added these gold clips. And just like that, I'm finished this hairstyle and I absolutely love the way it came out. I will be giving my hair a much needed break for two weeks until I next wash my hair and this is the perfect style to do so. I really hope that you love this video. Let me know down below in the comments and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.